lot of hot water here in Yellowstone. And what's it powered by? A magma chamber beneath the surface. Turns out we know an awful lot about this magma chamber too. It's one of the most studied magmatic systems in the world. Scientists have bounced seismic waves off of it. They've done seismic and electromagnetic imaging, sort of like taking an MRI of the Earth to see the properties of this magma chamber. And it's revealed quite a lot about the way this system works. Now, when we draw magma chambers, it's usually sort of a red balloon right under a pointy mountain. It's not really what they are. It conjures this image of all melt. But in reality, magma chambers are complex mixtures of some melt, a lot of solid crystals that have precipitated out of that melt, and even some gas, sort of like the carbonation that comes out of a soda. And based on all these studies at Yellowstone, we know that the magma chamber is about two and a half miles beneath the surface and it's mostly solid. It's only about 20 or so percent, give or take, molten. And those molten uh, lenses are stored in various horizontal layers within that chamber. So not a lot of actual melt in the Yellowstone magmatic system, but it's still hot. It's enough to heat water that circulates down there and give us the spectacular geysers and hot springs that we see behind us today. Well, that's the story of Yellowstone's magma chamber. Steamboat Geyser has not shown a whole lot of activity during the month of May. It had its last eruption in April, and since that time, we've seen in the temperature that's measured in the geyser's outlet, this sort of daily temperature variation that indicates there's not a whole lot of water in the runoff channel. So it doesn't appear that there's a lot of activity at Steamboat this month. We'll have to keep an eye on that and see if it changes, leading to perhaps a major eruption sometime this summer. And finally, the new webcam at Biscuit Basin, the site of a hydrothermal explosion back in July of 2024, recorded a small eruption. And that occurred on May 31st at 8.39 p.m. This is the first video recorded eruption since last July, although monitoring equipment and eyewitnesses have recorded several smaller eruptions. So the new webcam at Biscuit Basin already paying dividends.